Okay, so now that we have our uh, audio clips, I have several audio clips here, as you can see in my upload media pane, I re recorded separate little segments of audio. Um, now that I have them all recorded, I'm going to show you how to change it so that you can match those recordings up on your timeline. So it's going to kind of be hard because the audio clips just go by um, like a date and time of when they were recorded. So you kind of have to know in which order you went the soonest recording is going to be your baby picture and so on but you can also play them to make sure it's the correct clip okay so what you're going to do is in we video right next to the name of your video in the top of the pane you're going to have this little menu it looks just kind of like the google menu but it's the we video menu you're going to click on it and you're going to go scroll down to timeline mode timeline mode is going to take you into so that you can see your picture clips on top and the audio track files down below. Now the theme music one I'm going to keep there because it's the background music of the theme that I chose for my intro slide. So just keep that there. It'll kind of um, make that blur out or shut it off if you have other audio clips. So what I'm going to do is you can see that there's one here already. I'm going to just delete that so you can see now I'm starting with a brand new fresh slate no audio in my audio 2 section. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of your little clips up here and you're going to drag it down onto your timeline. Now if this were just a clip for uh, my intro and my first picture, so you can see how long it plays. So I would then click at the end of my picture here, click on my picture and I would want to drag that picture so that it matched up with the end of that audio clip. So it'll extend this picture out so that it matches up with that. Then I would click that my next audio, oh, I'm not going to do that one because that one's long. I would drag my next audio clip. Okay, this one goes with this picture. I would make sure that um, I talked about this picture for as long as this little clip is. So I'd click here and in this case I'd actually have to trim that picture back so that it matches up or lines up with the end of that picture. And then I would go to my next one and drag that out. Now this one was a long one because this was my first recording where I did the entire script together but I wouldn't want to do that. So then I would click on the clip is down here. I'd click on the picture again click at the end of the picture and drag that so that it matches up with the clip. Now this one's way too long. But so you can see here that I've added three separate audio clips and trying to match up the picture with the end of the clip so that this audio segment goes with this picture. That will make it so that when you um, play your video through, you, when you're talking about that specific period or that time, it will match up with your um, picture. So I hope that helps get you going. Um, if you need to, go ahead and review this video so that you can see it. All right, good luck.